We're here at Mac Park down in Mount Gambier, South Australia. Such an awesome place. This track's been around since the 1960s. It's owned and run by the local motorbike racing club. They've just recently widened parts of the track, so since last year when I was here, it's even better again. So I just had a ball. I've done probably five sessions today, did four yesterday. Still got one more day today, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, a bit screwy in the head, a bit worn out, you know, as you do. But yeah, I'm um, going to go around the pits and just have a quick chat to some people who are here because a lot of guys this weekend that are training with Levi Day and Billy McConnell. He's also had guys like Josh Waters, Davo Johnson come down and help. And it's just a really good, nice environment for people to come and do a bit of training on the track, do some one-on-one -on -one with the guys, learn a bit more. They can watch them, uh, give them some tips on their riding, corner entries, exits, all that sort of stuff, riding position. But uh, also just a nice chilled out environment because it's a local track. So let's go around the pits and have a look. That's here. Uh, who we got here? Dave? Hello, Dave, Mark. Where are you from, Dave, and uh, what are you riding this weekend? Uh, Adelaide in South Australia. I'm riding this uh, piece of mechanical genius behind us. And also, well, I'm not riding a Ducati because that's broken because it's a Ducati. Now, uh, tell us, uh, how many times have you been to Mac Park, or is this your first time? Uh, I think I've been here ten, maybe ten times or more, or thereabouts. Yeah, and, rough uh, guess. What's, uh, what are you up to this weekend? You've been... Trying to get faster, mate. That's all it's all about. Just uh, getting some tips from the experts and try and drag my sorry ass up to where they should be, or where I should be. Now, as far as the training and stuff like that goes, how would you explain the training to other people out there and what they'll get out of it if they come to it next year? Well... Two big benefits. One is you just get a ton of track time, so you're just out here going round and round and round, really working on your stuff. And you've also got two guys who race, Billy and Levi today, who, um, yeah, will coach you by following you and getting you to follow them, so you can follow their lines, do what they do, get some tips and tricks about body position, um, position on the track, braking markers, also bike setup. They've been really helpful for bike setup, so all of that combined just makes a real good weekend out. All right, we'll uh, leave you to go and fix your Ducati and we'll have a chat to this bloke here. Are you coming to help me fix my Ducati? Uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> All right, uh, who are you, where are you from? Uh, my name's Paul from Adelaide, come down with the family. First time at Mac Park? Or? Yeah, first time. Uh, heard a lot about it from some of the other riders and racers at uh, Adelaide and they said come on down. So we came on down and loved it, absolutely loved it. Now, how do you feel after doing two days on track with the guys? What do you What do you think you've benefited from your time out in track and with the guys? Learning the lines here, that's pretty tricky. That was very intimidating, day one, but the boys uh, show you the right way around and that's pretty important. They also help set the suspension up on my bike. They fixed up some problems um, and just they tidy up some of the little um, bad habits you have and stuff. So look, I 100% recommend it. So. You know, I'm only new to this, but uh, it's a huge improvement straight off. Yeah. And um, quick shout out for the uh, person whose t-shirt you're wearing. D George or Boris? <laughs> well, probably both. <laughs> well, you shout out to Boris, thanks for the shirt. <laughs> and actually explain to us, what, what's the shirt? What's the deal with this? Uh, well, um, I think he, he does it like a satirical article, doesn't he? D about Jorge Lorenzo and um, it's on Facebook and it's a laugh. I guarantee after every race you read it, you will crack up. It's great. It's good fun. So, but the lighter side of MotoGP. So. Oh, I, I thought it was actually serious. Oh man, that changes everything. All right, let's have a chat to this bloke over here. This is um Rod, or Hot Rod, as he is called now, because he's much faster. Now, Rod, uh, you're a bike nerd. What what do you got in the shed at home? Couple of couple of bikes. I've got a um, MV Augusta. I've got um, H2R. Kawasaki, just casually, H2R, yep. Ninja 1000, and my Aprilia, uh, Torino. Now, uh, you've come down this weekend with your brother, done a couple of days on track. What do you think you guys have got out of it? Well, uh, heaps. Like, I've only been on the bikes for about two years. I've only been riding for a couple of years. And its body position has been brilliant. Uh, for the first time ever, I've got my knee down, so I've uh, a milestone. Billy set up my handlebars for me and uh, my bars, so my, my body position improved. And Levi um, set up my uh, how I set, how I used the pegs, and I was able to uh, next lap out, put my knee down, and, and improve my uh, lap times. And teaching us how to go around the corners, uh, teaching us the track was just 
huge, a huge benefit. So uh, well, I'll be able to take this to just this uh, experience just about any track. And um, as far as riding on the track, it can be pretty exhausting after you're riding all day. How do you feel that your changing of riding position, everything's better for that? Is it less tiring now being out on track? Yeah, a lot less tiring. Um, my legs used to be a problem cramping up all the time. No problems. It's been good. It's been uh, just the, just the, the little the little tweaks, the little changes has made it just a, a, the experience a lot more enjoyable. Now you mentioned to me before, but say it for the camera, um, your next uh, trip to the track. You're on the Aprilia this weekend. Pretty nice yes. bit of gear. But your next trip to the track, what's that? I hope to go to the bend and I'll take the H2R and see if I can crack the uh, 350 mark. Ooh, that's <laughs> that's a tall order, but. Uh, it is a H2R, it's a H2R as well, not just a H2, a H2R, so I'll be there, I want to see this. <laughs> There's a lot of runoff luckily. Well the very first time I, the very first time I rode the H2R, it was the uh, first time I'd ever put a bum on a sports bike, and I went down the straight at Phillip Island at 290 kilometres an hour, but I hadn't been taught to turn the corner, and so I ended up cutting across the paddock, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm more... Um, I've got a few more tools in the toolkit to actually explore the cornering thing now. So you, yeah, otherwise you might end up back in Tail and Bend. <laughs> Alright, thanks mate. Cheers. Alright, All right, don't mind the mess, but this is my pit set up here in the background, mind the flies, we are in Australia. I've uh, got my old 1998, and I say old 1998 CBR 900 because it's 21 years old now. It's old enough to drink alcohol in America. Uh, having an absolute ball this week and I've had that bike for ages and it's just been a constant evolution of changes and bits and pieces here. One of the biggest changes I made this last few months was to go to a Dunlop tyre. Um, never really used them on the bike before and a completely different style of tyre to what I had and I'm just blown away. They're just really grippy on that bike. They work so well with, with the suspension setup and everything. Got the tyre pressures right but um, yeah, massive thanks to the guys at Dunlop because those tyres just make the bike so much more fun to ride. But um, as far as pit setups and stuff like that, this is your normal generic track day as the uh, tyre warms are off because it's the end of the day. But you know, a few tools, a couple of chairs, that sort of thing. But um, I'll be back out tomorrow. I've still got to polish off the rest of that tyre, so I'll be uh, having lots of fun doing it. We're just uh, going to have a chat here with future champion Max Day. How's your day been, mate? <laughs> he looks pretty happy. He's got his eyes on that Aprilia, I reckon, but the one he's going to be riding is going to be electric, you reckon? I think so, yeah. I think his dad will be uh, happy to get him on any sort of bike as soon as he possibly can, to be honest. As the young Mount Gambian... I can't do David Attenborough very well. Oh, and here we have... Yeah. You know what, Aprilia sounds so much better with an Aussie accent. G'day, this is me Aprilia. Can you hear Levi? Alright, so I'm here with Levi Day. 
the man behind this whole, not behind the track, but behind the uh, training camps, on track rider training. Now, Levi, how long have you been doing this for and uh, what do you hope to give people out of these? We've spoken to some of the guys, but what do you hope to, to people to leave these events with? Um, yeah, we've been doing these events for four years now uh, at Mac Park. We're very lucky and very fortunate to be able to run the events like we do here. Um, we can run it as an open pit lane and we can run it with low numbers, which I think are, are two big keys to what makes the days successful. Um, and for me, uh, it's just trying to give back to the riders um, from all levels, you know, road riders up to races at a national level. Um, when I first started racing, there wasn't really any coaching available. Um, and so you find a lot of people just make build themselves with bad habits and, and so of course they ride to a level that they you know could improve on. So it doesn't matter what level they're at, we try and work with them one on one and that's the reason we do it that way is because each rider is at a different uh, level and have different skill sets so we try and look at the way they ride and, um, and help them improve um, yeah, with individual tips. Now away from the school, I mean at the school it's uh, been freezing cold in the UK where you live in Essex. Um, it's really good for you to come here and get a heap of seat time in the pre-season and this year you're on the bike that you're going to be riding this year. Tell us a bit about what you're going to be doing at BSB this year. Yeah, as you say, Mark, for, for a number of reasons, it's really good. Um, I'm riding an Aprilia in British Stock 1000 this year, so Aprilia Australia have been extremely generous and have lent me um, an RSV4, which is very similar to the bike I'll be racing. Uh, it'll only be kit electronics that are slightly different. The rest of the bike is as it comes out of the shop. So the chassis and the engine is as the bike I'm riding here is the same as what I'll be racing in England. Um, and so it's been great to be able to get a heap of laps on a bike very similar to what I'll be racing over there. Uh, we'll do over 2,000 laps in the 18 days that we, we run the schools for. So um, yeah, there's no better training than riding a bike and to be able to ride the bike that I'll be racing this year is a, is a huge advantage for me um, and hopefully helps me adapt to, to the race bike fairly quickly when we get back to England um, at the start of March. Now I'm um, stock thousands a fair step up from Triops and Triops is a great class but it's you know, it's a good feeder class for the super sports and super bikes and stuff like that so how are you feeling? We all know you're a pretty cruisy laid back kind of guy you know from Mount Gambier yeah. but uh, how are you feeling in the letter? Are you pretty excited? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity to, to be able to ride for Aprilia um, in the Stock 1000 Championships and with the support of my major sponsor, AJ and Steel Stock, um, that's what's made it all possible. So big thanks to all of those guys. Um, and yeah, you know, the Ducati Tri-Options has been great for me the last couple of years. Um, we've had some really good success in that, won some races and got some good podiums and stuff. So um, I've really enjoyed that class. But if an opportunity like racing in the Stock 1000 Championship comes about, you, it's, you can't say no. So I'm really excited for it. I know it's going to be a massive challenge. Um, it's been cool to have Billy McConnell here this weekend working with us, who uh, got second in the championship last year. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a really tough year, you know, lots of competition, but that's what makes you a better rider. Um, and I'm just really excited and I just want to go out and enjoy myself each weekend, keep working hard with the team. And I think if we enjoy it and work hard, the results will show from that. And it has been pretty cool having Billy out here training with you, but you will be trading elbows. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's all good fun. We're all good mates away from the track and stuff, but he wants to do well and, and so do I, you know. Um, but it's the same. We've had David Johnson here helping, who's riding for Honda at the Isle of Man this year, uh, and Josh Waters, who uh, rides for Suzuki here in Australia. So it's great to have that sort of calibre of rider um, come and work on these sorts of days at Mac Park. Um, it's not very often those guys would come down here if it weren't for the coaching days. So it's nice that, yeah, all of us can give give some of our um, skills back to, back to some other riders. Well, there you have it. I mean, I've benefited a lot too from riding with Levi and Davo last year, and this year I'm back just practicing myself. So it's been good being out on the track, but uh, I'm hoping to get back over the UK this year. Fingers crossed I can make it, but uh, I'm pretty uh, keen to watch you in action, mate. Uh, thanks, man. Really excited to uh, get out there and see what we can do. Cheers.